So if you've been paying attention to some of my last videos, I've been hooking up car stereos, and part of that is reverse cameras. So what I have in front of me today is two tools from iCrimp. This is the IWC 1424AB. This is specifically designed to do Deutsch connectors, um, open barrel, things like that. Mm -hmm. So, but what we're going to use it for today is it has wire stripper and wire cutter. So the way it works, it has a release. You clip it there. All right, Steve. Cut me. Nope, up here. Oh, right there. See it? Right here. Yep. That's well. That's where it's going to. I just wanted to do it backwards. Okay, come, ready come towards me. Come towards me, Steve. Okay, cut. Okay, cut. Done. Okay. Now, Steve, strip both ends of that for me. Okay, I can do it better with holding it myself. Okay, take that then. Do what you gotta do. <laughs> Steve's got many years experience being an electrician. Uh, okay. Are we gonna put a crimp on fitting on this? Yep. Okay. One end stripped. I'll strip the other end. Okay, so some things I like about the eye crimp is it, you can't really see it here because it is chromed, but it is labeled what the wire strength is, wire gauge is. And then up here it tells you on your Deutsch connectors and everything. And the other thing I like is it literally goes up and down instead of like being curved when it pinches. Yeah. Okay, and then it has a lock. Keeps it locked in your tool. So the next thing we're going to use is the 125. It is a ratcheting crimper specifically for weatherproof butt connectors, weatherproof butt connector. When you crimp it, you hit it with a heat gun and then it shrinks it down and seals it. That way you don't have to use electrical tape. So are you using the uh, silicone filled? No, just the regular. You can buy the silicone filled too. Yeah, you got the mm -hmm. gel in them. All right, Steve. So if you notice here, it tells you one, two or five. But if you notice red, blue, or yellow, they're color coded. Okay? Mm -hmm. Red's smallest, blue's middle, yellow is biggest. All right, Steve? Mm hmm. I'm listening. All right. So, what I'll do here, we're going to give it a little twist. I always give it a little twist because it seems like it helps it. Yeah, I always do too. Yep. Okay, so what we'll do here, put this in there. All right, Steve, I'm going to crimp this. Okay, and you can hear it ratcheting. Crimp it down, boom, and then release it right there with your thumb. Okay, now we'll put the other end in here. Yes, this is a little bit wasteful, but one butt connector and this little, what, foot and a half of wire isn't gonna break my pocket. So, we'll put it back in. Like I said, blue, blue. It's very, very simple, okay? Give it a few pushes, you'll, you'll hear it clicking because it is, like I said, ratcheting. Okay, then you click it, release, and you're done. Uh -huh. Good solid oh, that's real pull. Good. Yeah, I like this a lot. Now, like I said, you can hit this with a lighter or your butane torch or your heat gun or whatever, and it will shrink the ends down. No need for electrical tape. So, these are tools I'm going to start using. Steve, as someone who's been an electrician for 50 years probably, do you like these? Would you use them? Oh yeah, yeah. Well, is there anything good. you like about them specifically? I like the fact they're color coded right here because then you can just match your up to it. And I also like the fact that the thing I like here is this is square. A lot of your crimpers are round and they'll have like a thumb. And I've had that actually go through and push through this sometimes yes. instead of matting it down. It'll go through and like, and it'll actually break the seal too. And mm -hmm. then your connector and your wire, you have to cut it off and reuse it. But I like the fact these are flat mm. and it's more of a, push instead of like a puncture anything well, on those steve one thing one thing i like about these right off is see your strippers right here on the front mm -hmm. you know there's a, and i've got one out there i could show you so a couple of companies put their strippers in the handle there. yeah now you're it's awkward yeah because you've got to like hold it and then work through it. your hand yeah yeah yep. you gotta hook this over yep like this is wire you gotta hook it over and then come back and grip it yeah I like it where you just... Yeah. I like the fact that it has... I've got several set of wire connector or wire cutters, whatever, that don't have a catch. 
So then you're in your drawer like this or in your toolbox catching other stuff. That mm -hmm. little, that, and then where this ratchets holds itself. Yeah. To me, that's a really strong feature of these. I also like the fact they got a good grip on them. Yeah. So, and they've yeah, got a little those, bit of weight to them too. Those are good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like these a lot. You'll be seeing them in our videos going forward because I'm gonna be doing a lot more car stereo installs. So, this is just a quick little video to show you how these two tools work. Um, and I will be, eventually I will show you a video on how to use these to do a Deutsch connector. Deutsch connectors are a little weird. I've never used one, but I'm wanting to learn. So, I like both of these. iCrimp is a good product, and I really like their service too. Mm-hmm.